first thing that we need to do is acknowledge when we failed. Oftentimes, as a defense mechanism, we want to downplay that, oh, it wasn't so bad. Right. It was okay. Uh, I didn't really fail. Laugh it off a little bit, but in Correct. the inside, you're crying. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about the why. So this is pretty interesting. So cybernetics control theory. What exactly is that? It, it seems like we're like robots or something. That's right. And that's exactly <laughs> what the researchers suggest in that our our behavior is regulated by cycles. So, so think of a thermostat. Sure. When the heat of failure is rising in us, we feel emotion, we're crying inside, like you said. It, <laughs> it, it kind of indicates to our brain, well, how can we cool down? How can we change this to a more successful mindset? And then what can we do with this? Such a great question is always marked. The first is to acknowledge I failed so that you don't downplay that and we can learn from that. And the second is a little turn of phrase that I put together, don't ruminate, initiate. Ruminating is this idea of overthinking. Yeah. I could have done that, I should have done that, if I had would have done this. And it's, that, it's a negative cycle that we allow ourselves to slip into. And instead of doing that, instead of telling yourself, don't do that, because our brain is naturally wired to try to fix it, use that energy, if you will, to initiate what would I have done differently? What would I do in the future if this happens? And if you can even attach visualization to that, so you're going to imagine, like your son, he's watching himself do that, I would say add by seeing yourself do something differently.